Good morning, good night. How's it going, everyone? All right, today we're doing a quick and easy job. In fact, it's so easy, you're only gonna have to watch this video one time. Uh, we are changing the cabin pollen filter. Lotus recommends you do it every two years or 18,000 miles. A little bit odd, but uh, that is their recommendation. And we are certainly due for it because of years. Uh, maybe not because of the miles, because my car needs to, a few more miles put on it. So let's go get that changed. And I don't know, let's go drive it. So you know how to open this. We've done this before, right? So you jump in here and swoop right down under the steering wheel and just where there's no nothing at all, you reach up and see, oh, what's that? And stretch, it's very uncomfortable. It's a long reach, you know? And boop, that po pops open the front. And I've had a number of friends where I say, oh, I'm going to pop the hood for you. And they reach down here like, oh, yeah, they're going to pop what? And then they see this and they laugh. People think this is hilarious because that is your access panel. And, uh, and all you have in here is your wiper fluid. You've got your brake fluid and this little thing right here. It's the inception. It's an access panel within an access panel. Okay, back to the point. Phillips screwdriver. Pull it on out. Oh, it's just one of these kind of like uh, plastic jobs. And if you take a look in here, you can see right there, that is your old filter. And there's not much in the way of actual room down there. So you're just gonna essentially pull out the old filter from the pleats. So go ahead and reach in and pull it straight out, boom. Not too bad, I always like to uh, look at it. Not too bad, and we'll put in the new one. Make sure to dispose of the old filter properly. Can you give me the filter? Chicken wing. Thank you very much. And I wanna give a special shout out to Sherman at Hethel Sport. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, got the uh, filters, came in right on time. Appreciate that. Do make sure when you install it, uh, you follow the airflow uh, notification here. So, you know, this is the entrance and then going to the car. Oh, it's gonna rain. After a short rain delay, uh, get right back at it. And now we try to figure out how to get this filter into <laughs> the tiny access panel. And the short answer is there's no good way. I mean, basically I found if you push it towards the front and then you just kind of compress it a little bit, you can kind of get it over the, you know, get it through. And once you're there, it's just kind of like messing around with it, trying to get it fit. So a lot of kind of weird working. So even once it's in, you still kind of have to keep working at it and just, you just press it straight in. There's no special anything. You just press it in. It's just weird. You notice I kind of have it bent in that corner, which I didn't like. So I went back and kind of straightened it out and that made me feel better. see it is in there it takes a little wiggling and finagling to get it in it's a weird system but it does fit quite snug snugly once it's there um, and I found that the best way to do it was sort of shove it towards the front to get it in so you don't have to compress everything so after that you just put on your access panel within an access panel and you're done <laughs> 